Istanbul. The city of Istanbul is split in two by a strip of water called the Bosporus Strait. One side of the city is in Europe; the other side is in Asia. <gasps> stone faces. These stone faces were once the heads of huge statues. The statues were built on top of a mountain in Turkey to honor the ancient gods. Step eagle. This rare eagle lives on the vast grasslands of Asia called the steppes. Because there are so few trees here, the step eagle has to build its nest on the ground. Kazakhstan. Most of Kazakhstan is covered by the huge treeless plains known as the steppes. The people of Kazakhstan are famous for their horse riding skills. Akmola is the capital city of Kazakhstan. This journey takes twenty-one hours. Traveling into outer space, we can take China. China is the world's third largest country. It has bamboo forests where giant pandas live. China is also home to over one billion people. Beijing is the capital city of China. How far? This journey takes five months. This journey takes five hours. This journey takes forty-four hours. Kazakh nomads. Kazakh nomads ride about on horseback, moving their herds of sheep and goats across the grasslands of Central Asia. <laughs> Look, Joe's left you another clue. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. It was first climbed by Edmund Hillary in Tenzing, Norway, in 1953. Send a postcard. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. I'm on the North Island of New Zealand. There are some incredible springs here that shoot hot water and steam high up in the air. Can you believe that? Come and see them for yourself. Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean in the world. It stretches almost halfway around the Earth and is dotted with thousands of islands. The Pacific is the largest ocean in the world. New Zealand. New Zealand is made up of two main islands, North Island and South Island, as well as lots of smaller ones. The country's landscape varies from humid rainforest in the north to snow-topped mountain ranges in the south. 
Wellington is the capital city of New Zealand. This journey takes four hours. <laughs> Kiwi. The kiwi is a shy bird that cannot fly. It comes out at night and uses its long beak to burrow for insects on the forest floor. Quick! Open the next clue! Geyser. A geyser is a spring that shoots hot water and steam high into the air. There are many geysers on New Zealand's North Island. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We're now in the middle of Africa, and we've just seen some ostriches, the largest birds in the world. It says in my guidebook that ostriches can run up to 45 miles per hour, and they can't fly. You'd better hurry if you want to see them. Cocoa. The giant seeds of the cacao tree are ground up and made into cocoa. The cocoa powder is then used to make chocolate. Lagos. The city of Lagos was once the capital of Nigeria. It is a busy port and one of the biggest cities in West Africa. Dinka people. The Dinka people are cattle farmers. They herd their cattle on the savanna. In the dry season, they move their cattle closer to the Nile River where there is more water. Africa. <laughs> Hippopotamus. The hippopotamus likes to wallow in the muddy lakes of Africa. It uses its long, sharp teeth to eat reeds and grass. Oasis. An oasis is an area in the desert where underground rivers come to the surface. The water allows palm trees and other plants to grow. North. South. Welcome. Before you start exploring, <laughs> hello. Sidewinder. The sidewinder snake flicks its body sideways across the desert, leaving S-shaped marks in the sand. Tuareg Nomads Some Tuareg people are nomads, traveling from place to place across the desert. They sometimes use camels to carry their belongings when they move. Pyramids. The pyramids were built as tombs for the kings and queens of ancient Egypt, Africa. The statue of the Sphinx guards the pyramids. Send a postcard. Joe's left you another clue. 
Ostrich. The African ostrich is the largest bird in the world. It cannot fly, but it can run very fast across the savanna. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. You'd better wear lots of sweaters when you come here. We're right at the top of North America, near the Arctic Ocean, and we're staying with an Inuit family. They're going to take us fishing later, so look out for a small boat. Welcome to African Airways. Which flight would you like to take? Your journey took 11 hours. Welcome to South America. Your passport has been stamped. Welcome to South American Airways. Which flight would you like to take? Your journey took 11 hours. Welcome to China. Your passport has been stamped. Welcome to Chinese Airways. Which flight would you like to take? Your journey took 12 hours. Welcome to Australia. Your passport has been stamped. Welcome to Australian Airways. Which flight would you like to take? Your journey took 23 hours. Welcome to Europe. Your passport has been stamped. Welcome to European Airways. Which flight would you like to take? Your journey took 10 hours. Welcome to the United States of America. Your passport has been stamped. Yeah! Welcome to United States Airways. Which flight would you like to take? Your journey took 12 hours. Welcome to China. Your passport has been stamped. Welcome to Chinese Airways. Muskox. The muskox grazes on the cold tundra of North America. Its long shaggy coat helps to keep it warm. <coughs> Eider duck. Eider ducks build their nests on the ground. The mother duck lines the nest with feathers to make it warm and cozy. Here's another clue from Joe for you to open. Inuit people. The Inuit people live in the cold Arctic regions of North America. Some Inuit live by hunting and fishing, as they have done for thousands of years. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook.
We're somewhere in Asia, high up in the mountains. There are some stone statues here that are so old they've crumbled badly. Only the heads remain. I'm sure you'll be able to find them. Thanks for keeping up. Canada Canada is the largest country in North America. Canada's main cities are in the south. The north is covered by forests and tundra. Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. far This journey takes 5 months This journey takes 46 hours This journey takes 5 hours Open Joe's latest clue. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. Mom wanted to see southern India. I saw a strange hooded snake, which was really scary. Some people here keep snakes in baskets and play music for the snakes to dance to. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a huge, hot country. It produces more oil than any other country in the world. The city of Mecca in the south is a holy place for Muslim people. Riyadh is the capital city of Saudi Arabia. This journey takes 11 hours. <laughs> Jerusalem. Jerusalem is an ancient city with many holy buildings and places. Christians, Jews, and Muslims all come here to worship. Oil well. There is a lot of oil deep beneath the desert in Saudi Arabia. Oil wells pump the oil to the surface. Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest of the world's oceans. Its waters are warm and tropical, and it is home to many amazing fish and sea creatures. <laughs> tea picking. The hillsides of India are ideal for growing tea. Only the delicate new leaves are picked, since these make the best tea. India India is the fourth largest country in the world. It is divided into different regions, each with its own way of life. Many languages are spoken in India. New Delhi is the capital city of India. How far? This journey takes three hours. This journey takes 26 hours.
peacock. The peacock has spectacular green and blue tail feathers. It raises its feathers into a fan to attract a mate. Taj Mahal The beautiful Taj Mahal is made of white marble. It was built by an emperor in memory of his favorite wife. <laughs> Indian Festival Every year, people in India celebrate the day when their country became independent. Dancers, musicians, and elephants parade through towns and villages all over the country. Cool! Look, here's your next clue! Cobra The cobra is a large, poisonous snake with a deadly bite. It puffs out the hood around its head to make itself look frightening. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We're in a lovely sunny country between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. There's a strange looking cathedral here with tall, thin spires. I hope to see you soon with my package. Fantastic! You've caught up. Click on Joe to give him his package. Hey! At last you found me, and you've brought my package. My favorite hiking socks. I sure need them with all the exploring I've been doing. Oh, look! I've got something for you. A medal for all your hard work. It's for you to keep in your Globetrotter logbook. Only four more medals to win. Globetrotter Logbook Medal 1 First Adventure Second Adventure Sticker Book Feather Beautiful Building Select a level to start the game. Our new friend, Ahmed, is taking us for a camel ride. I'm not sure exactly where we are, but we're somewhere in the middle of the African desert. Apart from palm trees, there are no landmarks. Just look out for the camels. Joe's left you another clue. Click on the envelope to read it. Here's a photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We've been scuba diving just east of Central America. We're on one of the southernmost islands of the West Indies, and we've seen thousands of colorful fish. They almost shine, they're so bright. You should try it.
alligator. The alligator lives in a swampy area of Florida called the Everglades. It lies in the shallow water waiting to snap up fish in its jaws. Tree frog. The green tree frog lives in hot, tropical rainforests. Its sticky feet help it to climb on the wet leaves of the rainforest trees. West Indies. The West Indies are a group of islands in the Caribbean Sea. The weather here is usually hot and sunny, but sometimes the islands are hit by huge storms, known as hurricanes. Cuba. Cuba is the largest of the islands in the Caribbean Sea. Many Cuban people are farmers. They grow rice, coffee, and sugarcane on the hillsides. Havana is the capital city of Cuba. This journey takes four hours. Jamaica. Jamaica is an island in the Caribbean Sea. It has several big ports where huge cargo ships are loaded with sugar, bananas, and other goods. Kingston is the capital city of Jamaica. This journey takes two hours. Haiti. Haiti is part of a large island called Hispaniola. Most of the cities lie on the coast, and the people of Haiti often use ferry boats to travel from one city to another. Port-au-Prince is the capital city of Haiti. This journey takes four hours. Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic is part of a large island in the Caribbean Sea called Hispaniola. Bananas and coffee are grown here. Santo Domingo is the capital city of the Dominican Republic. This journey takes four hours. Bananas. Bananas are grown all over the West Indies. They are green when first picked and turn yellow when they are ready to eat. Too bad you missed him again. Here's the latest clue. Scuba diving. Scuba divers like to explore under the sea. They carry air tanks with them so that they can breathe under the water. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. It's really hot here and very wet too. We're in the Central American rainforest where there are hundreds of animals and insects. My favorite animal is the tree frog, which is bright green. Hope to see you soon. Too bad you missed him again. Here's the latest clue. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. We've just sailed up the Danube River to Switzerland. There are some huge snowy mountains here. I've seen some amazing goats that live high up in the mountains. They're much better at climbing than I am. <laughs> Look, here's another one of Joe's clues. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. We're in Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. There's a statue of a mermaid looking out over the harbor. Dad says she's a character from a fairy tale. Come and see her.
Edinburgh Castle. At one o'clock each day, a cannon is fired from Edinburgh Castle. The blast of the cannon used to let nearby ships know the time. Giant's Causeway. Giant's Causeway is a mass of rocks on the coast of Northern Ireland. The rocks stick up from the sea like giant stepping stones. Houses of Parliament. This is where the government of the United Kingdom meets. In the clock tower is a huge bell called Big Ben, which strikes every 15 minutes. Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is one of the most famous landmarks in Paris, the capital of France. When it was built in 1889, the Eiffel Tower was the tallest building in the world. Europe. Europe is the second smallest continent in the world. Windmill. There are lots of windmills in the Netherlands. The windmills were once used to pump water from the ground to stop the land from flooding. Brandenburg Gate the Brandenburg Gate is a huge stone archway that stands in the city of Berlin. It was built over 200 years ago. Fishing. The sea around Norway is full of fish such as cod and herring. Many Norwegian people earn their living by fishing. Norway. Norway is made up of mountains, tundra, and huge areas of pine forest. Along the coast of Norway are hundreds of rocky inlets called fjords. This journey takes five hours. Norway. Oslo is the capital city of Norway. Tree felling. In Sweden, pine trees are cut down and used to make paper and furniture. New trees are planted to replace the trees that are cut down. Cool! Look, here's your next clue! Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid is a character from a famous fairy tale. Her statue looks out over the harbor in Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. Hey! And here's a photo of you for your logbook. We've just flown to New York City in the United States. We've been given a free guided tour of the city by our hotel, so we're going to see the sights. You'll find me at the top of the Statue of Liberty. Sargasso Sea. The Sargasso Sea is an area of calm water in the Atlantic Ocean. Every year, millions of eels swim here to lay their eggs.
traveling into our cotton. The hot, wet weather in the southern United States is ideal for growing cotton plants. The soft fibers from the plants are spun into thread, which is used to make clothes. United States of America. The United States of America is made up of 50 states. The landscape in the USA varies from snowy mountains to vast grassy plains and hot, dry deserts. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is the capital of the USA. D.C. stands for District of Columbia, the area in which the city stands. The city has many famous buildings and monuments. How far? This journey takes six months. This journey takes 53 hours. This journey takes six hours. Fact file. Mississippi River is the longest river in the United States. New York City is the largest city in the United States. Mount McKinley is the highest mountain in the United States. The Sears Tower in Chicago is the tallest building in the United States. Alaska is the largest of the U.S. states. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls lies on the border between Canada and the United States. It is one of the biggest waterfalls in the world. The White House. The White House stands in the city of Washington, D.C. It is the home of the President of the United States. Send a postcard. Hey, here's your next clue from Joe. Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty towers over New York Harbor. Visitors can climb a staircase inside the statue and look out from the crown at the top. Quick! And here's a photo of you for your logbook. After sailing across the Bay of Bengal, we traveled inland to the capital. We've come to see the Grand Palace, one of the most famous landmarks in Bangkok. I hope you'll be able to find us here. Philippines. The Philippines is a group of more than 7,000 islands in the Pacific Ocean. The weather is hot but often wet, and the northern islands suffer from tropical storms called typhoons. Manila is the capital city of the Philippines. This journey takes six hours. <laughs> Hong Kong City. Hong Kong is a busy city full of modern skyscrapers. The harbor is often crowded with ferry boats and large tankers. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. 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 
Rice. Rice is grown in paddy fields, which are fields flooded with water. Rice is the main food of more than half the people in the world. Stinking lily. This is the world's biggest flower. It is called the stinking lily because it gives off a very nasty smell. Hey, click here for the next clue. Grand Palace. The Grand Palace is one of the most famous landmarks in Bangkok. It used to be the home of the King of Thailand. And you'd better have this photo for your logbook. Thanks for keeping up. Mom and Dad have brought me to Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. I want to go swimming at one of the beaches, but Dad wants to go into the forest and look for a chameleon. Come find us. Madagascar. Madagascar lies off the east coast of Africa. It is the fourth largest island in the world. Lemurs, chameleons, and many other rare animals live here. Antananarivo is the capital city of Madagascar. This journey takes seven hours. Hey, click here for the next clue. Chameleon. The chameleon is a small reptile that lives on the island of Madagascar. It can change the color of its skin to match its surroundings. Too bad. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. I'm sorry, we had to go on again. We're by the Baltic Sea now, in a country full of thick pine forests. The trees are chopped down to make paper and furniture. The mountain scenery's beautiful, even if it is cold. Look, here's another one of Joe's clues. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. After sailing across the Mediterranean Sea, we've just driven inland to the capital of Italy. Mom wants to visit the Colosseum, which was once a stadium for the ancient Romans. You should be able to find us there. Fantastic! You've caught up. Click on Joe to give him his package. Oh, cool! You got here at last. I'm sorry to have made you trek all over the world, but this baseball cap is almost worn out, and I knew that I'd need my best one soon. But look, here's a second medal for your logbook. You deserve it for finding me again, and now you've only got three more medals to collect. Globetrotter Logbook Medal 2 First Adventure Second Third ad Fourth Fifth Adventure Hello? Hello? 
Select a level to start. We've traveled as far south as you can possibly go. It's so cold here that Dad's camera is in danger of freezing. Come look for me as quickly as you can. There are some strange birds that swim instead of fly. Joe's left you another clue. Click on the envelope to read it. Here's a photo of you for your Globetrotter logbook. We've come to northern Italy to see the amazing Leaning Tower of Pisa. Too bad we won't be able to walk up the tower because it's not safe. You better hurry if you want to see it. Cool! Here's Joe's next clue for you. And here's another photo of you for your logbook. Sorry we missed you. We're in the Pampas in Argentina. There are people here called gauchos who herd cattle on horseback. Dad's going to take me to watch them later. Meet me as soon as you can. <laughs> 